I'm Leanne and this is my channel so welcome if you're new here thanks for stopping by if you're coming back for the next installment thank you obviously I've not managed to bore anyone well probably some people but I've not managed to bore you specifically watching this to tears yet hopefully plan for today Charlie last night in the dark bless him I was already in my PJ so he did it he took my injectors off my engine from the black prelude that runs fine which I was gonna engine swap into the red one but obviously as you'll see from last week's video we got the red engine running yeah! but one injector wasn't injecting fuel basically so it was misfiring on one cylinder so we're taking the injectors off the other engine so we're going to put those in today hopefully get it running better i've also brought my en uh, my engine no i've brought my battery over from the black prelude because that's a lot newer the one in the red one i think it's the original honda battery and it's a 1996 car so that's 28 years old so lots to do um so yeah i'm just gonna sit and wait Charlie is taking the fuel rail off yep. so that we can put my other fuel rail on because the injectors on that one work, whereas this one, one of them doesn't work. No, we'll just swap the injectors over, but your fuel rail's been stripped and cleaned, so. It smells fuely in here. One plug, two plug, three plug. This one's a little bit harder to get to. Can't really get out. I'm a stand over here to pretend you're helping. What's supervising? You can change the battery. How do I do it without electrocuting myself? No fucking power to it. This is dead, that's why we changed it. It's fucking loose on this fucking car. No wonder it doesn't work properly. Right. All um, these bolts are loose for these vacuums. Probably have a hefty vacuum leak, fuel leak. Taking the battery out. While Charlie is changing the fuel rail, I'm going to take out the super dead battery. So I'm taking the bolts out. I've already taken the one off the negative terminal. So now I'm going to take that one out of the positive terminal. I've just lost my 8mm. I will just loosen this one. That's the terminal's disconnected. Okay. You need two hands. Yeah, I'll connect it. One battery out. Thank you. I couldn't get it. Wow, this is gross. Look at that. Thank you so much. Is it better to have it though? I don't need it. Really? Eventually you're going to put your battery in the boot. Oh my god, I am, aren't I? Okay, fine. Right, we'll just whack it in then. Yeah. In. Which one do I do first? Neggy or Posy? What yeah. if I get... <laughs> you're not going to get electrocuted. You get so sick of mine. I am now reconnecting my battery. My new battery. Hopefully it might not be dead dead. Well, it's probably it's going to be dead. Then. It's dead, but it's not. Not it's, it'll come back to life. Unlike the one that was in here, which was probably the original Honda battery. It is the original. It's the original Honda battery, which means it has been in the car for twenty-eight years. That's old. No wonder it doesn't want to work. But eventually, the battery will be going in the boot when I get around to stripping the bay and making it look nice. That will be a winner job. Yeah. With some brake cleaner and a little brush. Little maintenance clean. They will come back out again. I'm going to regrease the wall anyway. I just want to see if the injector, changing the injector is actually going to work first. Educated guess. Putting the injectors in. I've eaten my lunch. While I've eaten my lunch, Charlie's finished putting the new fuel rail in. That's great. Yep. Changing the fuel filter. Bought a new one. Do you need me? No. I'm alright. Cool. I'll be on supervisory duty then. That's it, Lenny. Film me when I'm really struggling. <laughs> Just showing the reality of having old rusty Hondas. Well, this isn't normally the case for most people because most people will service their car. Yeah, but this hasn't run in 16 years until last weekend, so. Hasn't had an MOT for since 2008. Um, this one. Should we do an ASMR unboxing experience, jokes? Yeah. Probably around with the camera. You'd be like, Wix. <laughs> Fuel filter. Had my microphone for less than an hour plugged in, and I've already dropped it and broken the receiver. Chaos man. I'll block your face out, don't worry. Have you noticed I had a sick man haircut? Sick man haircut. No. <laughs> 
No, he sacked me off as his hairdresser. <laughs> this is the colour of the fuel that came out of the fuel filter that was in the car. This is probably a 16 year old fuel. Nice. Charlie, you're bleeding. Yeah, I know. Freshy fuel filter under there, look. It's clean as part of the whole car. The Audi's on. And now I'm going to dart this. Ignition on, ignition off, not engine. Yeah, can you hear it? It is on. Yeah, I'm not going to go back. 